Believe it or not, students in Clay County return to the classroom this Wednesday as families prepare for the first day back. Superintendent David Broski is joining us right here on the morning show. Superintendent, we are in the home stretch and this is going to be a, a busy week for you, for your team all across Clay County. Obviously, there are some concerns. People are going back to school. You got some hiccups. Are, are you working through all those? We are. We're excited. Students return on, on Wednesday the 10th. I'll tell you, this is my 33rd year. Every day, the day before, I don't get any sleep. I'm so excited for students to come back, and I'm sure this year will be no, no exception. Yeah, I mean, this is what you do. Even over the summer, you were working to prepare for the fall. Abso absolutely. You know, we're fine-tuning our bus routes. Our meal service people are getting it together. Teachers have been back since uh, last Tuesday. They've been getting their classrooms ready. We're excited to bring our students back. Clay County is growing, 40,000 students. That's a lot of kids that are gonna be running around on, on your public school campuses. The question is, across the state of Florida and really the nation, we're looking at teacher shortages, staffing shortages in these schools. Are you seeing those also in Clay County? Yeah, there's, there's no doubt there's a labor shortage in, in all industries, so the education sector would be no different. Uh, in Clay County, we have 26 openings currently, which mm -hmm. is a little bit higher than most normal years. But there's about 9,500 openings across the state of Florida, so our our um, our 26 is a small amount. We're kind of used to dealing with that, so yeah. we look forward to bringing the students back. And you're filling that gap because last week you told us there were 73 spots. Over. Yeah, yeah, we're filling them filling in quickly. And uh, you know, in general, Clay County is a good place to live. It's a good place to work, and it's a good place for students to go to school. Okay, let's talk about going back school safety. Everybody is talking about protecting our kids, whether it's from the threat of an active shooter, God forbid, don't even like to talk about it, but we need to address that situation, or the lingering pandemic. What are you doing to make sure that every student, staff member, teacher, and parent is safe? Well, a, a couple of things. One, in the, in the safety aspect, we, we have great collaboration with all of our community partners. You probably saw last week uh, mm -hmm. a meeting with the Sheriff's Department, uh, the town of Orange Park, Green Cove Springs, and our own school police department do an excellent job of planning in the event that a major event would occur. And we feel like we're prepared for that. Uh, in the area of COVID safety, we continue to provide uh, extensive cleaning of our buildings and facilities, and we're mindful of the situation, but we're just excited to bring our students back. Right, and it goes back to if your child is sick, please just keep them yeah. home. Yeah, you know, for heaven's sakes, uh, if your child is, is sick, then of course your child should stay, should stay home. Mm -hmm. If they're running a fever, please stay home. Mm -hmm. and, and finally, as we, as we look at this just two days from now, I know that you're gonna hit the ground running once you leave the morning show. What are the final things that you wanna let parents know? I would just say parents, if you don't know what bus your child rides, uh, if you'd please go to our back to school website, main webpage, you'll see an easy link to get there figure out where your child is going to be picked up. Uh, that's, that's our biggest concern on day one, is nobody knows where to go, mm -hmm. right? So parents, if you would do that, that'd be great. If everybody would just have patience on the road, as you know, Clay County has 218,000 people, 40,000 people and their parents will be on the road at approximately the same time. Oof. So, so, <laughs> so traffic patterns will be different. We ask for patience of all of our parents, our, our students and the community at large. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody will be out in full force on Wednesday, so be patient. Yeah, and you gotta be careful. You gotta look out around the roads because you've got students at bus stops getting on and off buses, parents around, everybody's gonna be a little stressed, let's be honest about that, so you gotta be careful. We appreciate you coming on. I, I know that sure. you're busy, so thanks for making the drive up here and you know, letting all these families know what to expect. And, and good luck to you, in, you in just two days. I know it's, <laughs> it's that home stretch. We're excited. Welcome back, students. Welcome back, families. All right. Superintendent David Broski, thanks for your time this morning.